Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to install paper window shades. This will be a super duper easy peasy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I apologize about the lighting, I'm in my garage and the motion sensor light keeps turning on and off. The regular light is on, but the motion sensor light keeps turning on and off, so I do apologize. Now this, these are paper window shades, they're usually used as a temporary shade, but in my garage window over there, on my garage window, I actually just put them up and I use them as a permanent shade because I don't need to roll it up and down, it just always stays covered, so I just put them up there and I figured that I would make a video showing you how to install them. Now first of all, if these are too wide, this is the standard width that they came in, if they're too wide for your liking, you can cut them down. Just get a pair of scissors or even a utility knife and just cut off whatever portion you don't need. Like the one on my garage window over there, I cut it probably to, I don't know, about this width, give or take, and it fit the window perfectly, and the excess you can use again, because it still has the same stickiness on one side of it, or you can just toss it away or do whatever you want with it. You can use it as a drawing board, use it as a big fan, you want to fan yourself like this, go for it, no problem, it's up to you. Anyways, how to install these? Well. There are two clips which I'm going to place to the side over here. You can see two clips I'm going to place to the side. Those are used to hold the shade up when you don't want it to be fully extended down. And then on one side of the shade there is going to be a piece of sticky tape right here, okay? So I'm going to remove the sticky tape cover and that will expose the stickiness. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put it on, you know, the window. I'm just going to put it right on the wall over here. But you would put it on the top of the window, right above the window, okay? So I'm going to remove the stickiness. Just like this, just give me a moment. And usually the sticky tape in itself on the paper window shade will be enough to hold it up, at least for a while. But I always like to put just some extra tape on it just to be sure. So I do have some tape to the side here. So then you're gonna take the sticky part, which is right there, and you're gonna stick it right on top of the window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend there's a window here. We're gonna stick it directly on top of the window like that, okay? As you can see, it's now covering the window. We have the shade and it just drops down. Now what you can do with the clips is pretty cool, okay? So let's say I wanted to just raise it up completely. Let's say the window only went up to here and below was all wall and I didn't want to cover the wall. I can raise one side up, okay, like that. One side up and I can just use a clip to hold that side up like that. And I can raise the other side up the same amount and then put a clip in the same way on the other side. And as you can see, sorry about that, I'm, apo I'm apologizing to the packaging. I said sorry as if there's a person. It was just the paper window shade packaging that fell. Oh man, it's been, a, it's been a long night. I've been filming for like the last four hours straight. It's pretty late and I'm on my last couple of videos now. So I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty burnt out at this point. Anyways, I'm pretty done and my voice is just completely gone basically. Anyways, you can do it like that. That holds it at a certain height, right? Let's say you want to roll up the paper window shades, you can bring it all the way up to the top and you can clip it all the way at the top, let's say on both sides like that, right? Or if you wanted to, you could do this cool thing that I've seen done and it's pretty cool and that's just clip the middle. So I could literally just take a clip, put it in the middle and you could create almost this like sunrise kind of pattern. If you want just to just let in a little bit of light, you could do this and that gives you like this, I guess this like crescent type of maybe seashell pattern if you want to feel artistic this is the way to go that's it that's how to install paper window shades it's an easy process and i'm showing you exactly how to do it in this video if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching